Hi, it's Dave Cicero here. Um, this is just a little insight into some of my um, singles that I've had out dating back to 2019 when I sort of came back from the, uh, I don't know where I was. I had a sort of quite a long break between um, Future Boy and then my sort of new material. And in between that, I was doing sort of rave music um, yeah, I just went sort of more instrumental and things changed in 2019 when I brought a single out called Turned Around. Turned Around was inspired by my daughter. Um, and basically this, what the song's about is my life turning around. It's having a daughter, there's there's more responsibilities. You know, you're, it's not just about you anymore. It's, a, it's about another life, another responsibility. And just wanted to write a song about how I felt um, the happiness of being a father and and just to come back with something something special that, that was different from the, the last few years before or sorry after Future Boy Turned Around was that track that when I first when I finished writing it I was like wow this this could this could be something you know and it was the first time I sort of put vocals on a, a track for quite a while and made made a poppy track for quite a while. That that that's that song that, that said wrong back Cicero from the depths of the darkness. Um and at the time as well, just after turned around I was looking I had the idea of a live gig I behind me. Um at Housing Park Centre and that was twenty second of June two thousand nineteen. So Turned Around was finished and at the same time I had this idea of oh, I wonder if I could do a live gig. Yeah, so the idea sort of came from Turned Around and, and also at the back of my head I had the, the live gig sort of idea um, as well. 2020 is more about how I was feeling at the time. I was, um, I was going through sort of, um, just a lot of um, family issues and stuff and it was hard sort of putting on a, a brave face and trying to act normal when you, deep down you don't feel like that. Just about managing and, and, and trying to be normal in a crazy world. The Blue Monday and Donner Summer, um, that's a bass line, I wanted a sort of pumping bass line and a bit like sort of Heaven Must Have Sent You Back To Me as well, a wee bit of inspiration from there. A message for Broken Hearts. Um, Typical Cicero, I like to do stuff about breaking up um, with a happy, high energy feel. Don't know why, but at the time that was what I was doing. It, it basically had a message for people with broken hearts, people that had maybe lost a partner or, you know, or split up and, and, and you know, they were, were sort of feeling low and it was a message to help you through it, basically. It was just to make you feel better and and um, that's where that came from. It was it was all about sort of um, managing um, a breakup really and, and just getting on with life. In 2022, there came River of Lies. River of Lies was the track that I, when I, f I sort of finished writing, I sort of sat back and I thought, oh God, this is, this is good. Yeah, and, and River of Lies done really well in the charts as well, the Amazon charts. It got to about number two or three, I, I believe, and uh, just Pitch Boys were number one and I was number two. Um, so it was quite a, an interesting time to even chart with a single. And um, so, the, yeah, that was probably one of my well-known, sort of close to being commercial, uh, tracks that, that, that I had out and uh, later I'd done obviously a, a new mix of it I, I, I sort of considered doing a, a remix and bringing it out as a single so it wouldn't just be the same mix it would be something of a structure to the to the song. We're still in 2022 and the next track was When Love Fades Away. Again another track of Breaking Up typical Cicero um, but there was, you could start seeing a, a sort of theme going on where 
it was leading up to tracks that were going to be on the, the new album. The, the chorus line with an uplifting chorus line and again a, a, a sort of high energy up tempo track um, to go with the, the, the album. Again in 2022 there was Hold On To The Memories, um, just basically about, I think I'd watched Dunkirk, I just finished watching that and I was quite taken back by the, the film and the, you know, just how everybody just pulled together and the, you know, the, the hell that they went through in war, just like any war, you know, that there's no need for it. And, um, but it's something that we can't forget and, and in this society we live in, this sort of goldfish, you know, short memory span world that we, we seem to just live in now that we forget what these people fought for really, you know, they, they fought for our freedom and it just seems like it's all forgotten about and hold on to the, the memories was just basically just holding on to that, don't forget what happened in war, what what these people went through to give us what we have right now. I don't like wars, I, I hate war, I hate any country fighting, I just wish everybody would just live in peace but it's not the world we live in unfortunately but again it's just a way of expressing my feeling about it when, when the track, the single came out. 2023 came Weekender. Weekender was inspired by a, a, a night out at my local um, and I, one of my friends got rather drunk and um, was making a wee bit of fool himself you could say and and um, it was a, a sort of one of the tracks I wanted to sort of come away from writing depressing lyrics and it was, it was more of an up-tempo track where they like, going out and having a good time and just be being an idiot basically <laughs> um, but yeah Weekender was was one of the tracks again so that, that had that uplifting high energy feel to it because it was one of the, the tracks on the album that I wanted to sort of have near the beginning of, of the of the new album and uh, because obviously it's just it's one of the classic um, tracks that, that you, you couldn't have at the end of an album you know it's got to be at the beginning and that's where it deserves to be. Still in 2023, the next single I had out was We Were In Love, featuring Solaria, who didn't exist. <laughs> Solaria was uh, an idea I, I came across just using AI. Uh, I was sort of getting really interested in having AI and, and, and as, as, as backing vocals at the time. I was never looking at using it as a lead vocal. But then I heard about um, the software that came out that, that could you could create, you could type in the words, the lyrics, and the Solaria would sing it back. And, and it really intrigued me to sort of learn it, learn the software and then add it to a track. Because at the time it was very scarce to get session singers in and Holly wasn't at that age to sing at the time. And so when I tried it out, I had the, the, the song was created, the, 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 the music to We Were In Love, but um, when I started typing up the lyrics to add to, to it, it just came together really well. It just gave me visions of manga or, you know, that, that sort of um, that feel to it. And, and that's the sort of video I had in my head as well when I was putting it together. And um, I think it got somebody in Fiverr, is it Fiverr? Um, to create the video for me and got the, the video pulled together based on the song. Then there came Future Boy, um, the third instalment, the, the complete package. Uh, it was the album and, and all remastered from the ground up. And um, we, we, we wanted to bring out Pretend, which was never on the original album, but it was written at the time of Future Boy. Pretend was um, inspired, I would say, by LA sort of New Order stuff and um, the uh, it was one of the tracks that we, we that it was sort of forgotten about but when we went back to LA recordings around about the time of Future Boy we thought wow this is a, a great additional track to be added and then um, so we remastered it and, and put it as a, as a single um, 
words around about the time to promote Future Boy and uh, it's just great to hear it all remastered and, and sort of the finished product and I think it fits quite well on Future Boy. 2023 there came um, Love Is Everywhere that was remixed by Softwave. Um, this again was an idea about through Cherry Red to get some remixes done for the, the Future Boy album. Remixes that have never been heard but before, but we managed to get some of the original master uh, tracks uh, and we sent them on to different artists to, you know, make a remix of Love Is Everywhere. And Cherry Red sent me the, uh, the sort of finished remixes. Softwave, the Softwave mix really stood out. It was one of the mixes, I mean, all the mixes were great, but when I, when I heard that one, I was like, that's the one, that, that has to come out as a single. Um, it, it just, you could tell that there was a lot of care um, and attention put into the track. A lot of people may not be happy when you restructure a song or, or make it slightly different to the original, but it's all about being creative and I could see something in it, you know, and, and, and I just really liked it. I just thought it, 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 it had to come, come out as a single. Only Lovers was uh, 2023 as well, um, just before the new year. And it was one of the tracks where I wanted to sort of go out of 2023 with a bang and, and have a really um, hooky sort of lead. Um, but again, with sort of great chords to and a high energy track. And uh, I also wanted Holly to be part of that. Um, Holly does great backing vocals. Um, I remember getting her in, letting her hear the track for the first time and she just fell in love with it. Don't work with kids, kids, because it was hard work. Um, but she, she'd done it. She, we got there and she was very professional after complaining and moaning and having a cold at the time. But she, uh, you know, the finished product was great. She, she really put her heart and soul into it. And uh, she deserves again to be on the, the, the new album um, that we, we had out. And uh, to be part of that single, you know, to have backing vocals with, by your own daughter is a dream come true. And, and, our, and our vocals, our, 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 our voice is improving every day. She's just getting better and better. And, uh, but yeah, that, that's it really, that from 2019 to 2023, that's real, all the singles so far in a nutshell, as they say. Um, and then obviously the album came out and we are now in 2024 and I'm looking at doing some new Cicero stuff. So watch this space, it's, I'm working on that just now and uh, just some other material as well. But thanks for sticking around and, you know, again, for your support. Um, and there will be more coming. So stay tuned and look after yourselves and I'll see you again soon, guys. Take care, bye.